So what you guys are looking at in front of you are two mythical barrels that have made quite the name for themselves on the internet. Up front, we have a Colts uh, M4 Solcom barrel. This barrel was um, designed for some cool guys overseas that were burning out, blowing up their regular M4 barrels doing um, full auto mag dumps. So Colt decided to add material to the back of the barrel, make it stronger. It's pretty cool. Um, and it turns out that that made it pretty freaking accurate. Behind that, we have a BCM barrel. We, since we have access to both of these barrels, these, both of these are 14 and a half inch, I figured it'd be kind of interesting to see if there is an accuracy difference, um, if these things are as accurate as the internet tells me that they are. A little bit about the rifles before we start. This started life as a 6920, um, four or five years ago. Um, this is a Daniel Defense rail. It is it does free throw the barrel unlike the Knight's rail. It has an SSA trigger. Um, the 14 and a half Colt uh, silicon barrel has a pen welded um, B Myers ping thing there at the end. The barrel came from Brownells, I wanna say in 2019, and it did come assembled with the gas block, and it was installed by a CPA. This is a complete BCM upper, and it came from BCM, assembled by them. It also is a 14 and a half inch barrel, uh, extended A2 at the end over there. It is a lightweight profile all the way through. Um, the gas block, I wanna say it's 0.625 whereas this is 0.75. Um, they're both chrome lined, same materials, um, same material metal for both of them. So they're very, now who actually makes them for BCM, I have no idea. And if you guys know, I would love to hear it, um, but I scourged the internet as far as I, can, as I could, and I was not able to find anybody even guessing who makes their barrels. They're very tight-lipped about that. With um, the Colt, we have a small arm solution. Um, Chris over there knows more about Colt than probably everybody watching this video. And when he was going over his 6920, um, I'll try to link the video below. He mentioned that his barrel has an R proof mark near the chamber. And that, that indicated that it was made by Roscoe for Colt because Colt um, no longer makes their own barrel like they used to. Um, this barrel also has an R proof mark right there. So it leads me to believe that Roscoe made this barrel for Colt. Um, the thread that kind of, I think, kicked off the lore of this rifle was on AR15.com, of course. It was started years ago, and a guy was posting 10-shot groups. They were very impressive with his with the Sulcon barrel. Um, as far as I can tell, he did update the, the thread or his results with a newer barrel that was also performing pretty well. It was a newer one. Um, and then, uh, you know, other people joined in um, and they have been saying that it is an accurate barrel. And since we have, I have access to this one, that one I thought it'd be fun to actually compare them. Now, I'm not the world's best shot. I'm not saying that I am, but I did shoot both of these on the same day with the same ammo, with the same scope. Um, a 25 power Vortex, so plenty enough magnification, nice triggers. Um, so. I think it's a valid comparison. Now, if you shoot better than me, um, if, you have ha if, you if you have a half MOA PSA um, that loves green tips, you know, you'll get better results than I did. Um, so just, you know, half these group sizes and that's what you'll get. Anyway, 2021, so I didn't shoot too many groups, um, but here we have 77 grain Magtex that got uh, 1.988 MOA, so two MOA. Um, here we have Norma 77s, um, 2.2 MOA, Horny Black, 1.7 MOA, and then Green Tips, they never shoot well, but 2.6, 2.7 MOA. Um, I, I would call this a two MOA uh, rifle shooter combination with match grade ammo. That's kind of what this averages out to, forgetting about the Green Tips. That's you know plenty accurate enough, but I would not say that's something that I would be excited about, something I will write home about 
is just it's kind of average. And here we have the Colt, same ammo, same box. Um, I have four shots of green tips here, um, 2.3 MOA. Aim at the wrong target, um, so I have one here that was, should have been here. So discount that. Norma shot 1.9 MOA here in the center, and then the BCM at 2.2, slightly better. MagTech, 1.2, 1.17 MOA. The BCM had two MOA for the MagTech, so we got over three quarters better. And Horny Black, 1.15, 1.2. And then Horny Black was 1.75 with the BCM. So these two groups, Norma wasn't liked by either rifle, but these two are pretty solid. 1.1, 1.2 MOA for a short barrel. Um, that's $250 with the gas block. I think that's pretty impressive. And I think that is enough difference to, to note something. It's not just, I think, luck. Um, it did shoot every single thing better. And that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good result. I think if you're looking for a, like a recce build or something, you're looking for a shorter barrel um, for something that's gonna be a little more accurate, um, I think this is a really good choice. These are like 250, like I said, with the gas block, and that's without any coupon codes. That's really a good price um, for something that's very, very accurate. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to find anything better for, for that price point, especially everybody considers BCM to be high quality, and I mean, not high quality enough, I guess, whatever specs um, or whatever Roscoe is doing for Colt is apparently is working. And it could also be that profile, but the barrels weren't hot. Um, it wasn't long day or anything. I was doing mag dumps. Um, I just laid down and started shooting these groups. Um, so it's less than a mag each. Um, so the barrels weren't hot. It wasn't a hot day or anything. So I'm not sure how much the profile really matters. Just That's just my gut feeling. I think it's probably the quality control, the specs that Colt gives Roscoe and how they make them. That's my, that's my gut feeling. Um, but whatever it is, this barrel, I, in my experience, pretty freaking accurate. And I think it makes a, a good barrel for, for some builds. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any uh, comments or any experiences with these two barrels, or if you have experience with a Solcom BCM barrel, I would love to hear how that thing shoots or from any other manufacturer to see if it's just cold or, or if it actually is the profile. All right, that is it.